Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Elbert. I'm here filling in for Miss Matthews uh, with her art class. As you know, this art class only lasts about 10 or 15 minutes till you get ready to start working on your intervention. So what I want to do now is give you a little break away from the work that you've been doing earlier. And we're going to just practice on a basic drawing. Um, you know, Miss Elbert doesn't draw, so I'm going to put on a video of um, an artist and his son drawing a picture of a puffin bird. But they're going to take it step by step and show you how it's done. You said, Miss Elbert, what's a puffin bird? Well, it's just a cute little cartoonish bird. I don't know a lot about it. That's something you may want to ask your science teachers or just Google it and see what it is. But it's cute and it's fun and it's easy. And it's something just relaxing, boys and girls. Sometimes drawing just helps you take your mind off things. Even if you aren't the best artist, it's still fun to do. So we're going to follow along and hopefully you'll be able to hear them. But if not, you'll still be able to follow along and draw the picture. So at this time, go and get yourself a pencil, pen, marker, some crayons, and some paper. It could even be a notebook sheet of paper. And go and get that right quick and let's get ready to follow along. I'll give you 30 seconds to go and do that. All right, see here we got our little art buddy and his son, and they're going to do some drawings. I'm thinking this is his son. It may not be, but they're going to walk you through it. Again, hopefully you'll be able to hear them, but if not, you can still follow along and create your drawing and just have some fun with it, okay? Enjoy. Hey, Austin, what kind of bird are we going to draw today? A puffin. A puffin. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're going to use markers. You also need some paper and some coloring. Yeah. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. We're first going to draw a circle for our puffin's head. And I'm going to draw it kind of big. I'm going to draw about this size. And, and a puffin. And a puffin. Puffball. Puffball, yeah. Puff, big puff head. There we go. And then on the inside, let's also draw another circle for the eye. And then in the top left of that circle, we can draw a smaller circle for the highlight. Then let's also draw a little upside down B above it. Good job. All right, now let's color in the big circle and also that triangle shape. Now we're going to draw a sideways raindrop inside of the head or the big circle. We'll start here on a little point, and we're going to draw this big raindrop shape that goes around like this, comes back, and then comes back to where we started. You can also turn your paper like this if it's a little easier. You can do it. Keep going. And then come back to that little point. You did it. Good job. All right, now let's draw the beak for our puffin. We're going to start up here on the top of the circle, and we're going to draw a curve that comes down. And then we're going to draw another curve that comes back in to the bottom of the head. Yeah, and then right here on the point, let's draw the mouth coming back in. Yeah, all right, now there's little designs on their beak. We're going to start up here. We're going to draw another curve that comes down in the middle like this. We're going to touch the mouth and then we'll come back to the bottom where we connected it to the head. Let's do one more shape like that or another curve right next to it on the beak. And then right here, we're going to connect also back into the head. Then let's add one more small little U shape, sideways U shape or a backwards C right next to the mouth. All right, now we're ready to draw the body and the wings. Let's start right here on the right underneath the head, and we're going to draw a big curve that comes down like this and then back. Yeah, and then we can 
also draw another curve right here, and we're going to leave a little space. It's a shorter curve with a little gap, and then we can connect to the outside. Now let's draw the belly. We're going to start over here underneath the chin. We're going to draw another curve that comes under like this, and then connect back up to the wing. Let's also add another sideways V right here. Maybe those are more feathers coming out of the wing. All right, Austin, what are we missing? His feet. His feet. Yeah, let's do it. Let's draw a little web feet. We're going to draw a diagonal line that comes out. Then we're going to draw another diagonal line coming down further or straight down. Then we're going to draw U shapes, three of them, and connect those two lines together. Okay, let's draw another line coming out or to the left. And then we can draw more of those U shapes connecting. I'm just going to do two to connect that to the other foot. And we did it. Also, we finished our little puffin. That's fine, right? Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. We still need to do one more thing to make him look even cuter. What do we still need to do? Color it. No, we need to color our drawing. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, good fun. You did such a great job on coloring your puffin. Did you have fun? Yeah. It's pretty easy, but it's still a lot of fun, right? Yeah. Well, you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. We use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home. Like crayons or colored pencils. What else can our friends do to their drawings? Add a background. A background would be way cool. You could add a rock down here, or maybe even the ocean in the background. Or a tree. Yeah, maybe some trees. Or even more puffins. Yeah. So we're gonna stop here, boys and girls, because now what you can do is you can take it from here, and you can. Uh, design it however you want to design it. You can add a background to it as they suggested. It could be rocks, trees, lake, a pond, or whatever you want to add to make your picture even more colorful and bright. But just enjoy, boys and girls. Don't worry about trying to have a perfect picture or being a perfect artist. It's your work. So have fun, boys and girls, and enjoy the rest of this wonderful Wednesday or whatever day you chose to watch the video. You remember, boys and girls, be safe and stay in. And remember to wash your hands. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye.